shot. Boom! Oh, fuck yeah. Hey, you eat those, they're, they're all good. <laughs> what? Someone, someone find me a box. Yeah. I wish I could get you a box, man. Later tonight, I got some, uh, I got some Cran Raspberry, and that would be nice. Uh, it's not Tito's, it's some other Texas local one. It's called like Black Rock or Black Rock or something. I'm gonna try it out. Hey, yeah, brother. Okay. I found a box. I do got a, I do got a question, Ether. There you go, Snake. Is it time for death? There you go, Snake. Why are you going to send me a box? Send me Jojo Pose. I feel at home. You feel nice and cuddly in there? You get what I'm saying? It is so true. I totally can see that, though. I totally can see that. It's nice and safe in his box. And it moves. So, uh, uh, me and a couple of other people, including Eater over here, right? we normally do squats yeah. before, like, we okay. the portal okay. is dropped. Because, you know, exercise. I shouldn't have drunk if I knew I was gonna do it, but well. Oh. What is this style of avatar from? Is it from something that I see models of it all the time? What is it from? They make a they make a bowl out of my shirt. You have officially gotten on my level. Uh, do you really want to do it, or because I just drank like a sip of beer, so I might just throw it. So you are welcome. I don't care. I have a bag over there. If that makes you comfortable. Oh, what? Oh, all right. I think he's hitting on you. I think Zim was hitting on you, man. He said, if you feel comfortable about it, you yeah. can get back inside of him. He wants you inside. But please, wait till after the tour begins. By the way. After the tour, though, after the tour, <coughs> yeah. machines, Rindizo, and trading. It's just not considerate. Can't be considered. Yeah, There's not many people coming to the tour tonight. Ten. Oh, you're one of the guards. Nine. Ten. Mm -hmm. Nine. Eight. <laughs> Who's seven? I got a Trazim shown. I got Trazim shown. That says do you, do you want us to oh, line up Rindizo. somewhere or just Carry gather around? Four. The past few weeks have oh, really helped. Three. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna stay with the alligator. One. Or crocodile. I am actually a Or T-Rex. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself. Let me hear your fan in the background. Please mute your microphone. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic meme complex, and one of the tour guides of VR travelers. We create immersive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. We do this for free. We do this for fun. We do this to be a bright spot in the world today. And we do this for you, travelers. Welcome to the Rendezvous, our point of contact in narrative domains. Tonight, we will be telling the story of the lecturer. You are welcome to stream and or record tonight's event. But tonight is special. Friends, look me in the eye. Can you see the twinkle of ether? Yes, tonight, the honor is to us all. Because tonight, descending from the heavens or ascending from a place unknown, folded in the narrative domains, comes to us the greatest, the most handsome, 
the most talented voice actor to ever walk the virtual halls of VR chat. <laughs> Travelers, I present to you the one, the only, Trey Jim. Let's go. Yeah. Trey Jim, let's go. I'll keep doing this. Oh, yay. Incredible. There we go. Hmm. Wait, mm. there's two cubes. Snake eyes. Oh, right. Wait, what? Which cube? Cube squared, sheen squared, the, the or Trajan squared. <laughs> there's an imposter among us. <laughs> Sounds pretty saucy to me. Which cube do we follow? I Which one's dark? I'm the lecturer. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Uh, excuse me, I... I think there's been some sort of mix-up. You see, I am the lecturer. <laughs> no, no, I am the lecturer. And I'm here to tell you about anthropomorphism. I... A whore prison? Wow. What? I, I don't think that that's actually <laughs> the case. You see, uh, I think... some wires have been crossed, uh, somehow. Some sort of an imposter has found their way among us. Uh, would you mind if I just unfold this? Sounds pretty sussy to me. That should, uh... <laughs> Wiping off the lenses. <laughs> there we go. Well, one day. That never <laughs> happened. My friends, uh, hello and greetings. Welcome Hi. to the tale of lecture. A story of learning. A story of selflessness. A story of sacrifice. To any sacrifice. newcomers, allow me to explain what's going Time. on. This event is a story-based tour, and as with any real tour in the real world, I politely ask that you remain with me. While we stop for narration, please kindly refrain from speaking so that the story may continue. But while we walk from place to place, feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Additionally, for those who are not aware, tonight's tale and those in the near future have locked-in outcomes. You can still interact with the tour at many points, but these are reruns. That means the ending has already been decided. Now, those in front of me, please kindly stand aside, and I'll drop a portal, or attempt to, to our destination. Watch for that portal. Dude, put that away. Oh, you're, you're talking to us. My bad. Jesus, sorry. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Community. It's cool, it's cool. It's hard to know where the front side of cube is. No, no, no. Yeah. It's the one that's... It's the one that's... It's a good thing one cube disappeared because it would have been more difficult to find out which one's which. Enter. Until I give the signal, yeah. do not enter. <gasps> it's stable! It's stable! Wait for me at the train station on the other side. Huzzah! Thank heaven, shit. Four legs are working on this too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, no.
it. That's what you get. Thanks. <laughs> I know. Your your hands and everything is just bent like different directions. Yeah, I know. It's weird. It's a. I mean, I come from a broken home, so that's kind of a thing. Okay. Everything's broken. Just on your iPods. The can talk with the door. And heard that one yet? That's pretty cool. Exactly. Oh, what? Sly, Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper. I get what I get what you're going for now. Mm -hmm. I get it. I worked at the cafe. I have been doing that for literally years. <laughs> Travelers, get off the train tracks. I've been doing that for years, and I've been trying to find the book to send to you. Oh, there's so many people on the train tracks. Yeah. <laughs> Some in the train to make them, uh, to make them run over. Well, but I don't remember the lady is. Yeah. I don't think we're supposed to do that. Yeah, and we can, we should do that though. We won't die. So then, it goes away after a moment. I seriously don't know how I end up pushing you over. It's like you're a big target. And also, it's not just mobile, isn't it? I tried it. That's why it's local. Nobody else will see it. No, it's not. Nobody will know. Nobody will know. Yeah, I'll oh, take much. You know what? what? <laughs> but I will. You will. No problem. Don't you dare. Uh, <laughs> okay, alright. Oh, okay, alright. Yeah. Oh, green cable or. Oh. There you go, you're good now. Uh -huh. You're good. Sure, I guess. Oh, you shit, I keep an injection. injection. I, I've been yeah, bamboozled. I'm against that, but like, I was shouting for it. Well, you're trying to push a T-Rex. Like, they aren't, they aren't yeah. educated in the ways of RP push. Well, this man is there. heavy. This man is so heavy. Yeah. This, this suit the here the way oh, suit that he is made out he's of. that heavy. Why? Yeah. Yeah, the weight of the see world this? rests on I him. Just... That's why he's so heavy. See these claws? These claws down on my feet? They're just gripped. No, yeah, you really need a pedicure. That's what you need. Yeah, you need yeah. a pedicure. You need a mani pedi on that. Uh, no, yeah. no, no. These defend me. What do you mean? I don't need no pedi mani. There you go. Moisturizer. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh, oh, I don't stand oh, right oh. next to the track. Oh. Stand behind the yellow line. Get ready. Oh, damn. Better be ready. Everyone crash. I did. Did. I, I fucking. I was the last one walk through the portal. I literally had everyone was going through when I came in. One perk of BR is uh, you can use some movement. So other games, they're easier. My friends, fellow travelers. I fell off a lot of stuff and break my bones a lot. Before we begin, I have uh, some tidbits of information I for you. Yep. Pressing tab on your keyboard or holding your right hand above your head and pressing the menu button will bring up the menu for this map. You will see a fast travel map. You can use this if you get lost and need to get back to the group quickly. Any other help you need, please see Vindizio and Sheen, my fellow tour guides. And please allow me to take a moment to say that the map creator, Pimon Nick Pop123, is among us. Please, Hello. direct all world-based complaints sassy. and complaints to him. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, judge me beautiful. harshly. Yeah, we don't smells, judge you harshly. It's a beautiful it map. It smells like a cool map. Thanks. Ah. Alright, I've judged you harshly. Also in that menu? <laughs> Without <laughs> Thank further you. ado, and that will bring up the world menu. Story. Go to world object settings, and you can turn off... 
uh, post-processing stuff like the shadows. The story. <coughs> the story. <Sorry. laughs> the story begins. Okay. Here we are at last. Finally back at Krista. After a long, long, long train ride. The lecturer is finally back at the academy, where he had been teaching for 30 years. You see, he was removed from the academy for uh, reasons, and is now finally allowed to return. It is a most glorious day indeed. The lecturer could barely sit still the entire train ride. It was like being a child again. The train pulls up to the old too familiar station, and the lecturer steps out and stretches. Ah, everything looks exactly the same. What a relief. Let's go and speak with the train station employee. Please follow me. Hells yeah. What is his name? Woman. Don't yeah, click on the NPC. Do it. not click uh, on the this NPC. This thing doesn't have the hilarious beep sound like in the agent. I, I can't do the thing. Thing. Oh, but... Hey, Matilda, why aren't you talking? It's also a cold style. Tickets. Like. <laughs> oh, why, why would you need Please tickets for exiting the station? Matilda. Give me the tickets, Matilda. I need to get out of here. The station tickets, employee please. recognizes the lecturer, as well she ought to. She greets him with a warm smile, checks his ID, and hands over the keys the principal left here, ready for his arrival. Ah, oh, that little metal jingle brings back so many fond memories. Ah, but now isn't the time for memory juices. My friends, let's step out into town. The lecturer has shopping to do. Click on the door handle to open the door over here and walk through it. Step out into town. Ooh, it looks different. Is a lecturer buying today? Some pots and... Everything. And actually... Some alcohol. alcohol. Oh, you'll see. Wait, you'll Copious <laughs> amounts of cocaine. <laughs> oh, God. A line of cocaine. Damn. He's getting that. I, I think that's nice, ether. Nice, nice that's that's, that's ether, ether cane. cane. Ether cane. Or elixirs. Yes, <laughs> I'm ether. What's actually substance called ether cane? <laughs> 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 Ooh, I'm now, friends. You will have a quest to complete. Very important. Listen carefully. You must find these items in the town of Trista before you. You cannot pick them up. Simply locate them. Every lecturer needs a good pair of brown gloves. Yes. Oh, and a map, just in case he gets lost. And one of those shiny green beetles in that you know that shop oh, go away cat and some orange flowers because well a cat because i said so and one two three four yes that's all please do not leave the town marked by the arches to your left and right and don't pass the tour guides who will be standing yonder ah uh, here's a clue before you start shops have signs yes you have uh, ten minutes starting now Okay, right here. Oh, 
Yeah, never... mm. Hey man, you got gloves? Uh, you don't have gloves. Yeah. Okay. I said, right? So I don't know why a point won't work. Jane, you're in you're store! Open it up! I think she's pretty content being out here. What did she say? Mostly like before. Look, uh, long Here's story gloves. short, my character w is no longer character locked. Hey. Wait, what? Oh, well, dead. Okay. Whoa. Basically, in other role plays I'm part of, Panda died seven months ago. But I've been character locked because of some bullshit involving soul gems. And then someone had the audacity to send me to the afterlife without telling me. So. Huh. Long, so, yes. yeah, okay, long, yes, because, you know, that just happens, doesn't it? So, anyways, look, anyways, that's fucking soul? bullshit. Oh, no, no fuck soul. off. That's my <laughs> soul. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why you asked kind of that. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I found, I found, I found a gloves. Found a glove, nope. man. The joys Aww. of mortality. Okay, gotcha. Oh yeah, I know what you mean though. Hmm, <clears throat> nothing here. No collision on that either. Like the evil oh, yeah, yeah, that wasn't no, that was fine. Look at Sheen. Oh, look how reflective he is. Oh my god, my brain forgot. One guy was spouting out the whole. Oh, TG, Featherfall. What else better to do after you find all the items? Just have a nice cup of tea. Alright, lads. Yeah. Oh, the Non alcoholic tea. Very, very good. No, I don't mean. He's so delicious with my tea and compads. I still can't read that. But I'm talking about like the, for the lighting things. You, you see Sheen's avatar. You see how like it's like yeah. so oh, it's it's legs to be black. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much got a nice big sheen to it. Come on, the pun was there. I was going to take it. The avatars were made to have the reflections begin with. So. I remember I was the whole magic teaching me feather fall thing. Wait, well, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna go on the roof okay, because DJ has been somewhat teaching me the feather fall spell. I'm gonna see if it'll work this time. Two bucks says he's going to hit the ground hard. Yeah. Never <laughs> How did I get up here before? Oh, okay. <laughs> and also my chips. <laughs> my well. name, no. Oh. Oh, right. I will get back up here. Metal Gear. Find a way to do it. Uh, sorry. Mm. Yes. This is the general. One hundred, the general. Yes. All right. Oh, dear. Oh, my lord. If I like you, you have to I don't 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 like you, you have to
Oh no, I'm doing fine. Do you think I need to sit no, on this? Like so no, I'm still stuck. I don't believe you. I'm just saying. Okay, can you come over here so I can see your feet again. Move to the left slightly. There we go. Now move way off. Like, move, move towards the. Okay, hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm thrilled. How is he DC? You sound very thrilled. I'm dead. Have we found all of the guys stuck? Well, that's kind of obvious. You fucking glitched out. He glitched out. Here it comes. Got on the spider, died immediately. Yeah. How you doing, little brother? Okay, all right. 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 Okay, alright. I Roasting marshmallows by the fire. Oh, really? Roasting a man. No, no, we're not doing this again. Okay, well, you, uh, if only you were around for, for uh, one of the previous mm -hmm. ones, You're because restarting. we didn't actually do yeah, that on the regular, like, it, without fail. God, Funny it was amazing, it was Did I have a full house tonight? Smile, don't make one my later. burns oh. worse. Oh, <laughs> Tough, it's already happening. You're literally sitting in the fire. But you're not done enough on this side. That campfire song song. Oh god. Oh no, we're not doing this again. That's our protest. That's our protest. Oh yeah, that's fun. Oh boy. That's heroin. Oh, <laughs> Are you showing everyone else? I was better than No, you're not streaming there. We are all here. No. Anyway. Did you all find the required item? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes! All I found was pain. <laughs> the shiny green. Nice. Good. Mm. <laughs> Tastes delicious. I don't remember tasting pain. Well, regardless, the story continues. The townspeople recognize the lecturer as he goes about from shop to shop. He's greeted with hellos and welcome backs and how do you do's and my, what fine brown gloves you have. And it is all <laughs> most magnificent. My friends, Let's make our way to the academy now. Please follow me. Did someone drag my body there? Make uh, I'll call him. Click. And open. Manjaro? Hmm? Manjaro, Manjaro Linux? <laughs> Too late, he did that with the squats. Oh, squats. 
Look at those slow pokes crawling along the ground like insects. Come on. Hello. Hello, Bobby. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Sorry. My lord, stragglers will arrive soon. Oh. My that. lord. Stragglers. I'm being awfully my nice Lord. considering you pushed me onto the train tracks, mind that. Did she just call Trajan my lord? I mean, it was funny, <laughs> I'm not gonna deny that. Uh. Alright. All right. Uh. Trajan is a false god. Oh. No. Electra. He's not right. a false god. Takes a deeper breath. The keys lightly jingling. That's a go old. This is it. Teaching by day. <laughs> And continuing his research project by night, in secrecy, things simply could not be going any better for the lecturer. No, oh, wait, the door is already unlocked. So he heads inside and to his first class. My friends, would you like to join me for a lesson in history? No. Why not? If the door is unlocked. The door is unlocked, so pa user user admin password admin. Oh, you take Here's a little lesson in history. Oh no. This is a history. Are we are we taking classes? I failed all my classes. No, we're teaching classes. With the I'm not a tricky cat. What the fuck are we do- <laughs> Well, yeah, okay, alright, well, good job there. Sneaky, sneak. Oh, you can't get excited anymore? No! That was my favorite part. Uh, which seat that was my favorite part, I was getting in there. I got a seat. I should fly to Dude, what? Oh god, it's like school. Oh, yeah, no, 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 <laughs> Name a world seat, then turn that off if you don't want to have the Shit, chair. Oh, give me a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, I should do that. <laughs> uh, where are you, chairs? Uh, Enable uh, world oh. seats. <laughs> I guess we'll go camping. Yeah. Enable world seats. Huh. There we go. It's like a box, but it's not. What's in the box? Go. Inside the box, oh. different. What's in the box? A fun game. Bro, you gotta stay in here. Like the, you're like the cool student, you know, in the back, always. Have That's what the box is for. If he, if he needs to heal, he'll be in the back. Yeah, smoking in class. Right, uh, <laughs> no, that's Panda. He's got all his little jiggy. We need a safe point. Is this a smoke shack? Is this a spinning floppy disk? Dude. That's awesome. It was a spinning I floppy think disk. This pain would get any worse, <laughs> but it has. Once in the camping tent. The palky. please. Hey. Friends, oh, teacher if you talking. can't hear me, come closer. You must be able to hear me clearly. Well, here they are. The students. Look at their bright eyes, ready to learn. Look how they sit and wait patiently. Except a few that I won't name. It's time to begin day one's history lesson. The lecturer spends his time going over the history of the town of Trista. Two hundred years ago, Trista was but a small town with a nearby quarry. They were digging initially. Oh. Trajan's audio oh. went away. Uh. Oh, when did I cut out? Uh, no. initially, initially. Initially, friend. Uh, thank you. They were digging initially for ore, but soon came across strange ancient ruins that had sunk deep below the surface. 
This caught the interest of certain authorities, and the quarry was declared an archaeological site. Excavation ensued and continued for decades. But one day, a storm brought landslides and floods, and the entire site was buried deep beneath layers of mud and earth. The authorities consequently lost interest in the project, and those who lived there. No, we're not. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> that was just you that time. You're and those who lived here decided to build a schoolhouse. This. Now we are. Now. Oh. No. That it's would the be the bell. Oh, okay. The class has Why ended. Why shit in the back? I should have sat in the front. Mm -hmm. One girl remains behind as the class files out. Once they're alone, she says, there was supposed to be an eleventh student, but being the delinquent he is, he skipped class, hoping the lecturer wouldn't notice after being gone so long. The lecturer thanks her of, for informing him of this delinquency, but now we have a small dilemma on our hands. His absence must be accounted for, and the lecturer is not one for excessive formalities. He is sure he can find the delinquent, or maybe one of his friends. Perhaps, perhaps stop by the dormitory and find out what is going on. Ah, Snitch. now, as you may have heard, tonight's tour has a fixed ending, so you'll see a slightly different experience from normal. But I will ask one person where we should go. Hmm. <laughs> Encephalon, <laughs> where do you think we should go? <laughs> hmm. Ah, the docks. A fine decision. My friends, please Fuck. follow me. <laughs> ah. I want to go to the city. Hilarious. The Just shit. How to decide. I right, see. <laughs> Mr. Lecter, where's, where's your hall pass? Remember, guys, bad ending instantly. Not that bad. What are you doing, Tricky? Instant bad ending, give a sprint. It's in my world. The whole pass is in. Multi pass. Pass travels. Believe it or not. Yeah, but. Instant bad ending. We're getting it anyway. Do the hanger. Believe it or not. No. Is there even a hanger here? He fast travels. No. The Diablo to ascend. Decide. He ascended. Sort. Oh, never mind. Fast travel all the way back to the main area. Okay. Here, man, trying to speed run this thing? Oh, we don't have Jay today! I'm trying to speed run? Okay, I guess I'll sit in the bucket for Jay. Oh, yeah, Diarmid, I was gonna Welcome say to something. Um, I'm not any percent. Oh. Outstanding! Maybe if you got rid of that easy ass haircut, your your hairline looks like a column left. When they are done, Excellent! You're in uniform now! I'll catch a cool equalization, and I'll fucking train him. Cooper, what are you doing here? Get back in your guard post! It's I'm gonna catch time. myself a medal, Jen. Mm. I'm just a humble mm. submarine, please leave me alone. I just don't want a magic card, man. Yeah. Keep catching me. Oh, <laughs> My friends, your attention, please. I believe we're all here. So, let me just kick the bucket, oh. and then we can begin the story. Wait, Trajan kicked the bucket? Oh. 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 He, was, he was literally doing it, he didn't. In question. <laughs> he is standing on the small dock, looking rather tense. The way he's casting and reeling, 
The way he's shifting about on the spot. Something is clearly bothering him. The lecturer descends the steps. He asks the delinquent why he didn't show up to class today. The delinquent replies that he doesn't want to talk right now. The lecturer doesn't know how or why, but he has a feeling like deja vu. He has the knowledge he needs. I know what's going on, says the lecturer. He explains his hypothesis. The delinquent made some bets involving fishing with some upper-class students, and he lost the bet. Now he has stolen lures and is trying to practice so he can gamble more and win back the money. The delinquent falls silent. The water bubbles past gently. The string of the line is pulled taut, but the delinquent ignores it. His eyes are closed. The lecturer offers a solution. He suggests that the delinquent join a club. He will receive money for drink. Maybe enough to pay the upper class students back, and if he keeps practicing, he could even win further prize money in the club competitions, the fishing club. The delinquent is clearly hesitant. His gaze is fixed upon the water's surface. Crickets buzz in the nearby bushes, filling the evening air with a soothing drone. Fine, says the delinquent. I'll join your stupid fishing club. Now leave me alone. The lecturer obliges, feeling rather accomplished. No, oh, what an aggressive sunset. My friends, <laughs> please come with me back to the academy. Alright, who stole my wine? Oh, oh, oh. oh. You man, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you find any good? It was bad, like, I had a friend's that's part of that and they had a parrot. <laughs> and, like, they would teach the parrot to laugh, like, ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah. And, like, you walk in. Oh, what, so like, that way you guys can have some good laughs? Plenty of people are watching when I fell off that roof over there. <laughs> yeah. And landed in the fire. My friends. Mm. Oh. Now that night has fallen, this is the perfect time to get some items that the lecturer needs for his research. He needs a hammer and a chisel, and he needs to get it from the art room in the main building here. Which means you all have a quest to complete. The rules are as follows. Your goal is the art room. It will indicate as such above the door. But, on your way there, you must avoid the meddlesome, pesky, irksome, vexatious academy security personnel. Stay out of the cone of their flashlights. Do not be too loud or get too close to them. And use side doors to help you hide. You are not permitted to teleport.
during this section. If you are caught, the security personnel will address you by name or as a group and escort you back here to the beginning. Once they leave you alone, mm -hmm. you may continue your attempts, but do try not to get caught, for it may affect the outcome of this story. No, it won't. Metal Gen I mean. and Ether Memento. Please, everybody, fully enable their avatars, are they, as they are the NPCs playing the tonight's security personnel. That's Metal Gen and Ether behind me here. <laughs> yeah. Well, security personnel, please go and take your positions. Did you get them enabled? Mm -hmm. Did you get them enabled? Cool. Not in one yeah. second. My okay. friends, <laughs> are there any questions? Well, so a hammer and a chisel from the art room. Are you doing good? Simply make your way to the art room, and the story will continue from there. That's right. Yeah, he's doing good. Throw King, hold! I'm doing my throw king. Hey man, you got panties? Oh. Back to the start. Back to okay. the beginning. Back to the beginning. It, Careful. It's nothing personal. It's just not supposed to be here. <laughs> Guess who's back? Back again. Mike! <laughs> I, I think I hear liquid over there. <laughs> Halt! Tech nerd, hold up! You! Halt! I said halt! You should not be here, it is past curfew. Come with me to the entrance. There. Now, go back to your home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you there. Stop, criminal scum. You violated the law. Pay the corner fine or go back to the beginning. You're stolen. This way. Uh, come in, come in. I think this is where we're meant to be. I don't think so.
think it's clear for me. Twice, tech nerd. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Back to the beginning with you. Which colonel? Colonel Sanders, or there's, or is there a different colonel? Well, Colonel Kurtz, but also Colonel Sanders, because he makes great chicken. I don't know. I, I was hoping. Like you had a bit of trouble with that one. I am not good at directions. You know this. Yeah, it happens. Especially when you haven't been through you for this time, so. Oh, yeah. What a great story. So, hello. It takes a little bit to anyway. learn the layout, so. That's why I said if you go up or if you hold, go into the menu, you'll you see a fast travel and it'll show you all the maps. My friends. As long as you don't fast travel. My friends. Travel. Saving the best. Your attention, please. The story will continue. Now, Metal Gen Ether Memento security personnel, how many did you cast? Three, sir. Uh, 
Excuse me. Metal, you are muted. Hello? I caught. There you go. Vivid Vision of I. Rendizo. Tech nerd. At least Ren three. How could you? Possibly four. Yeah, I caught this real king. Tech you didn't see me. Where the fuck is the L man? Those are the three I caught. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. They're taking me in the main bay. He took me to the front door. Anything, That's I a lot of people that got caught. Yeah. Oh, snap. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, we caught a lot of people. But unfortunately, wow. it's a predetermined. What are we here for? Huh? There's a spy amongst us. Uh, Sus. No, we're not here for a spy. Oh, a hammer and chisel. That's right. We're here this for a This would do us nicely. The lecturer is teaching art here tomorrow anyway. Nobody's going to notice they're missing. And besides, he's merely burrowing them for a short while. Damned. Well, mission accomplished. The lecturer was about to instinctively head back to his old office, but remembers that he was given a room at the inn. At least until they sort out this new space. Well, it's been a long day. The lecturer is greatly looking forward to lying on a soft and comfortable mattress. To being whisked away by pleasant dreams. Let us go back all together to the inn. Please follow me. Yes, let's go. But don't run Ooh. indoors. You can run outdoors, but not indoors. Eh, too late. Hey, my hammer and chisel is missing. You can't make me fall. You can't, can't make me fall. fall over Instant. again. Instant bed ending. Wing. Everyone who just jumped off their legs out. Nope. Boy, like Dean. I have special break BS. Bone. But the lecturer should have powers. a break. <laughs> Physically dangerous tour to travelers. <laughs> okay. I'm in their shirts, but see. The, the most physically dangerous tour to That's travelers, enough. specifically. <coughs> Wait a minute, oh, this isn't the same room we always pick. What would you like today, sir? Room for a smaller group. Did I just pick the wrong door? I picked the wrong door. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, you went to the wrong room. My friends who are in the next room, come back to this one. Ooh, Mr. Jeff, you went to the wrong room. Ooh, I just didn't see anyone in there. He had the power of his own thunder thighs. I'm not a pot. I look nice in this room. Alice, you're not a pot. I'm scared. Are you a vampire? I don't see you at all. I did, like, just... Whenever I did like um, go with it. Squads, I got I got uh, tired like in the first fifty, but now I can like go up three hundred something. Yes, yes. You're frightened. Yeah, never know. Your own thunder thighs. Uh, that exactly. chair is too I'm far into the dust. Trooper, what are you no. doing here? Get back in your guard post. It's meant to be pushed. You know, sorry, time. Yeah, I am. Make some room, boys. Yeah. I need I'm to sure sleep. It is meant to be pushed in. There's plenty of room on the bed for everybody. Sergeant. Sergeant, sleepy time. Outstanding. <laughs> well, my friends. We're not sleeping just yet. First, I would like a single volunteer who can speak. Hello? Woof. I, Panda, would like oh. to volunteer. Zero, that was you. Come forth. What? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, today was eventful, was it not? Please, no. for everyone else. Summarize what seemed to be most important to remember today. Mm, fishing? 
fishing was fun. Mm. <laughs> and playing hide and seek. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. I think uh, <laughs> taking the train. That was good. I didn't. That was good. Uh, let's see. Going up to the school. Having a nice event. Uh, having a nice lecture about, uh, you know, stuff. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was in the back smoking. Uh, I think that's <laughs> quite enough. Well, like it seems it. like you're right. in a different story to everyone else, but that's all right. <laughs> My friend, Sorry. this concludes the it's first fun. of three days. Please stop yelling at me while I'm reading the story. Day two Sorry. of three commences. My friends, the lecturer wakes up, not to an alarm, not naturally. But as sunlight strikes his face through an open window, oh no, did he sleep in? He cannot be late for his second class. The students are counting on him. My friends, to the art room, <laughs> quickly this way, but don't run indoors. Those paper don't jump. shuffling jackasses! How the hell do they expect me to run this? Shortchanging me! Donald, I have already had your issue! Why the fuck are these people moving faster than I am gonna kick your ass? Nice. No, Don't run indoors or I'll chop off your legs and eat them. Him. Truly the most delicious. Delicious. Mmm, relax. Stop stealing my phrase. Yeah, I wonder if it's the right room. Oh, there's no way of fucking on. More dangerous Maybe than the pilot, pilot which literally the front might give you a hint. The hell? We're no, just here. In danger. Yes. Yes, uh, we were. Yes, we were. Yeah. No, we were here about like 12 hours ago, but we've had an, uh, a good night's sleep and everything. Pretty cool table. Dude, Nobody's drinking in class. That was a nice table. Wait, hold on. Are these rimlet? Yes, they are. Put some fucking shoes on you, Jenna. Red Scorpion Coffee reporting you for the like ass request. Wink, Sorry, wink, it has water in it. Wink, wink. Outstanding. Uh, no, I don't drink water. Proceed on the it. devil to the hangar, or you will stand guard duty. You will do a fine job. Do you understand? You are. Yes, sir. Just. Table right there. You I think the chair uh, understands. <laughs> Mm. What was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, what was that? You look funny, funny sitting down like that. I think that was a spider talking, man. Jeez. <laughs> oh, of course. Back, spider back. side is coming out. My friends. <laughs> what was that? My friends. Here they are. The students. Look at their keen eyes. Ready to discover. Look how they sit and wait patiently. It's time to begin day I'm two's art lesson. Oh, and look at the back of the class. The delinquent has decided to show up. Ah, oh, the lecturer's heart Yay. fills with pride. <gasps> The lecturer begins the class with today's topic, <laughs> anthropomorphism. That's how you pronounce it. It is when humans apply human qualities to things that are not human. For example, look here at this carved statue, shaping stone to appear human. Anthropomorphism. Likewise, Thinking your house pet experiences complex emotions like shame and pride. Anthropomorphism. Attributing a vengeful quality to the weather or environment. Anthropomorphism. Combining human and animal characteristics to create 
hybrids, anthropomorphism. A child playing with their toys and giving them personalities. Anthropomorphism. And the gods. Do the gods experience emotion? Are they so burdened as we on this mortal plane? Do they hear our prayers and feel pity? Do they feel contempt? Are they indifferent? Do they even feel? Or are they like forces of nature, cold and uncaring, an eternal ripple of cause and effect in the ethereal realm, the astral plane, influencing our lives down here from afar? No. The answer is no. The gods are selfish. The gods are cruel. The gods are all-powerful. And we must fear them. We must do as they command us to do. Yes, or they will come down and punish. Oh. oh. I got carried away. The lesson is Finally. <laughs> One student remains behind as the class files out. Once they are alone, the lecturer approaches her and asks, what's wrong? She simply looks up, her face filled with sadness. She says she feels invisible. The lecturer asks what she means, and she explains that her parents seem to be ignoring her recently. She can't even bear to be at home, so she's staying with a friend. Another girl in the Class 7 dormitory, room 303. The lecturer thanks her for confiding in him, and says perhaps he will try and speak with her parents. She leaves. My friends, we have another small dilemma on our hands. The lecturer simply cannot let his students go through th such things unnecessarily. He knows that her family lives in the house by the docks, and her father is the groundskeeper for the academy. Now, the location that we visit next is up to the travelers. So, I will ask... Ah, Encephalon. Where should we go next? The liquor store. <laughs> go to the Class 7 dormitory, room 303. Oddly specific, but I guess that's where we're going. My friends, please follow me. <laughs> okay. Okay. The spring break, you get. Yeah, I'm waiting for crit for winter break. Are you ready to do spring break so we can freeze frame jump in the sky? I did it once, it's not as fun as you think. And uh, I nicely went down those stairs. Good.
Oh, no, no, he's not taking a scenic route, he's taking the secret path he's to the, west the scenic next route. destination. Right. It was a secret code. He's taking the path. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. He's taking We're gonna fall into the back rooms. He stops. <laughs> He's taking a shit. You know, to be fair, we could have just watched oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> to the door. Same. Took the wrong turn yeah. to Albuquerque. <laughs> Imagine if you just turned around and just went back. You know, Albuquerque is actually a actually nice place. Right now, just turned around and went back. Also, it's called Albuquerque. Just turn around. Oh, jeez. That would be really funny. Where's the other door? That would be quite funny. There's a swim That's a nice font. I do like those threes. Who cares? Oh, it's a quill. That's what I'm saying. Those are the lights. Witnesses got really aggressive. Eventually, reaches the Class 7 dormitory building. It looks as grand as it ever did. Merely gazing upon it. Brings back old memories for him. Up on the third floor, he locates room 303 and knocks politely. A girl answers. The student who came to him. She wears an expression somehow expectant and defeated at once. The lecturer has a good idea of what's going on. He doesn't know how or why he knows, but he does. I know what's going on, says the lecturer. He explains his hypothesis that the student's mother has become pregnant, but both her and the father are acutely aware of something in their family that means the baby might not make it. In an attempt to spare their daughter the loss they will feel if the worst-case scenario comes to pass, they have instead ended up making her feel alone. What your parents need, suggests the lecturer, is your love and support, so that whatever happens, you can get through it together as a family. The student is motionless, stunned. She is silently crying, small tears glistening. The words are scarcely more than a whisper, but the lecturer catches them. I might be a big sister. She breaks into a smile and thanks him so, so very much for telling her, promising she will do as he advises. And she closes the door, likely sharing bittersweet news with her close friend. Ah, oh, the lecturer feels very accomplished. We get heavy friend. in the tour tonight. Mm -hmm. Speaking of heavy, this is the perfect time to get some more items needed for his research. Because night has fallen. Ah, there is a window behind me. That was a risk I was willing to take. My friends, he needs to get some specific medicine. He needs to get it from the infirmary in the main building. Which means we are now heading back to the academy. To the front door. <laughs> Please follow me. We're on the third floor. Hey, DJ, oh, when did you pop shit. in? Like, he hasn't eaten throughout this whole story. Does he ever get uh, food? Honestly, uh, the one thing that I... I was maybe, maybe I don't know. Like, Good question. Yeah, the next the story to the right, they should take him to the shit. Oh. There is. I mean, it's what? realistic. What are you what? doing here? Get back to your guard post! <laughs> Same guy every time? <laughs> I'm Canadian, eh? If I 
see you away from your post again, it will be the sorriest day of That would be nice. I think maybe we should hire Sarge to be a security guard. Here's hoping it becomes a Patreon. <laughs> Ready for round two? You figure it out on your own. Again. <laughs> again. How long has it been going? Again. Mm. Uh. About an hour and a half. My friend. Hour and a half. Okay. As before, we have a quest to complete. The rules are as follows Your goal is the infirmary in the main building here behind me. It will say as such above the door. But we must avoid the nosy, intrusive, snooping, scandal-mongering Academy security personnel. Stay out of the cone of their flashlights. Do not be too loud or get close to them. And use side doors to help you hide where possible. You are not permitted to teleport during this section. If you are caught, security, who are Ether and Metalgen here behind me, they will address you by name or as a group if you're together, and they will escort you back here to the beginning, and you must comply. Once they leave you alone by the entrance, you may continue your attempts, but do try not to get caught. Make sure, everyone, that you have Metal Gens and Ether Mementos avatars fully shown so that you can see their flashlights Spy. when they turn them on. Fuck. Yes, that. Now, NPCs, take a moment to take your positions indoors. Good luck. Ether, that's you. Quite all right. Now, Rendizo, do try not get caught two thousand times this time. Those are rookie numbers. Got to bump them up. just out of earshot. Yeah, yeah, go for a million. Rendizo is always in earshot. My friends, your quest begins now. Go. I got you. Was. Oh, that was Thank easy. You. Stop. You must go back to the beginning. You must be must be must send gear. You have been caught. Must send gear. You Let's go back. return to the beginning. Get out. 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 <laughs> victory. Out. Out. <laughs> victory smudge. Ow. Hey, yeah, good. Wait. You're out. I'm gonna say. He's gonna be on the What's up, man? I found out. I found out. I found out. I Pretty much narrative with uh, totally you, uh, lower to the ground like a rock. I totally didn't trip over a pebble. Pretty nice, yeah. It's kind of like totally I did. Trip over kind of like those. Like those games. I no. wouldn't be surprised, like, honestly. Adventure or like those, They're like, very those. chunky. Yeah. 
David, you have a camera. Like, did you get? Right. Did you? Do you have evidence yeah, of what he tripped yeah. on? I'll tell you, I'll tell you I do not. Like, yeah. I'm I'm curious. Darn it. Why is someone upstairs? We'll have to come <laughs> through the footage later, though. Oh, I roll for that? Yeah. Okay. You're actually recording. Okay. Yes, I just wanted to see if yeah, the computer work. would take it. Uh, I was gonna well, say, I'm good. surprised, cause but still good. that yeah, is way best. different than what you had last have time. You guys met already? You'd be able, even be able to record uh, as well. Lost, uh, you're muted. Uh, I think it was <laughs> like right. two weeks, was it two weeks ago or four weeks ago? It was no, about it's two, it's two weeks ago. Yeah, my headset, <laughs> yeah, my batteries just died. Well, so anyway, we're just, I, have to, we're I swear we're I didn't IRL break my limbs that Fun hard from what I fell over because, I mean, why else am I standing here? I'm totally oh, not okay, cool. cleverly holding you myself you up with my head. You over a rock again. And yeah, we met last, uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. What do you mean again? I did not trip over a rock, I swear. It was the roof. Oh, okay. Yep, you stick. That's exactly what it was. Smiles like does not believe you. Yeah. Yeah. Fat as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> They're fat. How did you not out. believe me? Yeah, you guys, okay. cool. isn't, you guys have seen me. You guys have seen me fall off roofs before. I trust. So I trust our brother more than you, than you at this point. Over <laughs> of course, because your mutes are the best here in yeah, in the VR realm. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, I know. I couldn't even be a mute at Among Us. Uh, so, yeah. We'll get to the oh, end of this tour, oh, and yeah. then there's an after party. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. So, so you guys are going to be there. Whoa. Well, okay. See, now I think we've officially confirmed that you tripped oh, either on yourself lighting. or you tripped oh, on a really oh, cool oh, 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 No, you're not a time fold in a rock. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Keep telling yourself that. Yes. So, yeah, and, 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 like, and, totally fell off. Like, and I totally got a little extra, bit better at feather fall, which is why I'm not completely more broken yeah, than I usually am when falling off the roof. Or like the raceland stuff. So the fight is really good. This is the X button. This is the pressing the X button. Yeah, no, I got missed two chapters. I think I've actually bumped into you on the fish But they were bad. One of those chapters was Thank you. I pressed the X button. I doubt your claim. Well, definitely. Yeah, I got a few chapters for Neon. Uh, no, I find it believe you, you need evidence. Um, Ow, my foot! You never said you did. My toe, my toe, my toe, my toe. Does he actually not have a toe? Listen, you're wearing. What are you wearing? I have joystick grips. Very bad joystick grips. That's terrible. Don't tell Thrill yeah. King, but what I tripped over a metal and that broke my toes. And Amadon. Yes. I heard it. I heard it. You admitted it. You tripped on something stupid. Shut up! You heard nothing! I heard everything. Yeah, no, Charger. I can say it. I can actually say it. Amadon weakened him. Why is everyone saying karma? You do realize, knowing my luck, it would have happened anyway if I did that to you or not. I mean, you got a point. It was in the middle of the today with my pains and my brokes and all this. There's a friend of mine that I met through. I get it. Cotton 4K. There's a friend of mine that I met through work. You know, I tripped over a pebble and broke my toes. Okay. A pebble of all things. I can't see the window of bed. Call me private? Uh, so, yes. Yeah. Uh, the corns, yeah, they can't. It's almost uh, under the bed. Oh, first is not even the right word for it. Did you forget something, Maggot? Yes, uh, I tried to get it. Long story short, I tried getting it for a And instead of uh, having the end, they decided, uh, and they definitely don't know what it is.
Sergeant Lee coming back having more so than you. Like, so this is like the sweet shit. Yeah, 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 we got to go. Means the town may go. Come on, stop. You know, there's a great, there's a great irony in that statement. How sooner that he finds us than any of us find ourselves, truly. This is a deep moment. My friends, your attention, please. Hard work, hard work pays off. Oh, you get paid overtime, right? You get paid overtime, right? For that. My friends, you know your attention, you please. My friends. Yeah, sh shut up, man, man, shut Don't up. make me shut call up. you out in front of everyone. Simply zero e five one four. Uh huh. Uh huh. What? This is not the case. case. Where are the NPCs? We have Ether and Memento, and we have. Point, point. Belgian. Where'd you go? Oh, yeah, there he's right there. Gen. I have to say, Memento did now. an excellent job out there. Memento gets everything. Silence. Metal Gen. How many did you catch? <laughs> I caught zero. Zero. I see. And on <laughs> the other end of the spectrum, Ether yes. Memento. Yes, yes, what? <laughs> I caught simply zero e five one four Mustang gear zero six eight two and a Sarge Dorney. What's for you? What do you mean? But I will take special you, note of simply zero e five one four and Mustang gear zero six eight two several times in a row. I thought we were going on lunch break together. What do you mean? Ah, five times. times. To me. I'm talking. I'm just trying to be that cool. He's love to me on the rooftop. He's confessing his love to me on the rooftop. My friends, let it be known that today's bad ending is thanks to Simply Zero and Mustang Gear personally. What? Thanks, guys. <laughs> no. oh. Thanks, guys. The story continues. Actions have consequences. What were we here for? I think we were. I think we were here for medicine. Medicine. Yes. yes thank Just you. For and medicine ah, for broken bones? This will do just nicely. <laughs> Some medicine. No. Yoink. Oh, the doctor has so much, he Yoink. won't notice one bottle missing, will he? <laughs> no. The answer is no. The lecturer needs it more than the doctor ever will. He thinks again of the big old bed he used to have here, but remembers that, ah, he was given that room in the inn. It's been another long day. The lecturer is greatly looking forward to lying on a soft and comfortable mattress, to being whisked away by pleasant dreams. Let us go now back to the inn and get some rest. This way. Uh, oh, there's the map. Uh, our NPCs got stabbed while no one was looking. I didn't do it. I We're in the infirmary. We'll be so fine. Bad Jesus Christ, that man ascended. 
Leave Jesus out. No, you mean like my soul on the steps over there. Ow. The, the steps on the front door, I step. I stepped on the steps, good job. You're wearing steel toed no, 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 shoes. How, no, how do you stub your toe? You're wearing steel toes. You just answered my questions. Steel toes. Why do you, why do you climb I the railings? My... Why do you climb the railings? Like, I have real else, human cool. uh, organic toes under these things, so. Yeah. Yeah, but your steel well, toes are supposed to protect. Well, I think we're interrupting someone. To being a full synthetic kind of cringe. Shut up. I said. <laughs> I'm not even making fun of you. I believe you. we're all here. I would ask for a volunteer once more. Who can speak? The ether's raising his hand. Mm. Oh, I see. I <laughs> have the task turned off. I got the bad end. Ether yeah. memento. Today was eventful, no? What seemed important? Uh, what was important was meeting the little girl who was going to become a big sister. But beyond that, was also, there was news from a very loud ruckus from the academy. Apparently some ruffians were having a inter inter scuffle with the guards there. Inter scuffle. Inter It's an actual word. An inter scuffle. How interesting. interesting. Inter Anything else? Mm. I got you back. Well. Ether. But beyond mm -hmm. that, beyond that, um, we also talked to our class. Got the, got a little off track. Talking about uh, the gods and all that. Got got a little carried like away. Got to watch that. That's, that never happened. Well, that sounds like a fine summary of today's events. But yes, that is all. Day two yeah. or three has concluded, and day three of three has now commenced as sunlight once more strikes the face of his lecturer, waking him from his slumber. Oh no, not again. He cannot be late for his third class. The students are counting on him, my friends, to the music room this way. Paper We're going to the music room. Oh, right. Uh -huh. Okay. Second floor. <laughs> Just oh. using the good old fast travel to the music room. Fast travel? Oh my god, this is great. But I can't fit. <laughs> In here, Sergeant. Man, the option to sit sucks, man. Hey, look! What? <gasps> Outstanding! Well, boom, 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 Wait, aren't That's you stuck in that armor? Like. Does that mean that pebble's stuck in your shoe forever? What, the violin? 
I'm not bra, bra. Bra. I just rarely take it off. That's a gun. Rat a tat tat. Wow. What? I would know. Take a seat. Yo. Dr. Ren and Wow. Yo, Ren, what's up, man? Move that. Hey. <laughs> hey. What's up? Hey, how's it going? I, I got the bad ending, Ren. What's up with that? What'd I do? He's a bad influence. <laughs> ben, why did I get the bad ending? This is not a bad recording. Get your own seat. I highly doubt you can hear me from back here. I mean, if Rengizu can hear you. Tisk, tisk. Mm. Well, here they are. The students. Look at their curious eyes. Ready to actualize. Look how they sit and wait patiently. It's time to begin day three's music lesson. Oh, and look at the back of the class. The delinquent has decided to show up once more the lecturer is impressed and here at the front the student from yesterday she wears an expression of joy and it brings warmth to the lecturer's heart we begin today's topic with an excerpt from a book and i quote Music is a mysterious thing. It can make one remember things long forgotten. Moments one may have wanted to remember or wanted to forget. This music belonged to me. It reminds me of a woman far away from here. Hence the name of this song is far away promise. As these notes play, I realize I do not know the woman's name. I do not even know what she looks like. All I know is I must find her. End quote. These timeless words are embedded into our history, along with all the others who lived and died in the distant past. These are the words of... Ah, oh, where did I put it? Ah, oh, here we are. These are the words of... Ah, oh, my head. Ah, oh, the, these are the words of... of... Abel of Lahan village. Ah, but I hear you thinking, where is Lahan village? Who is Abel? You will not spot it on any map. You will not read about it in any history book. For I did not learn of him through any text. The time he existed is too far in the past, long forgotten. I was told of Abel and of Lahan by something I met. You see, oh, I should be careful not to say too much. Students, heed my words. The gods are real. There are beings out there with power you cannot even imagine. You cannot hope to defy them. You... Uh, I'm... Sorry. I'm not trying to frighten you. Oh. That is the bell. Well, today's class ends here. One pupil remains behind as the class files out. Once they are alone, the lecturer approaches him and asks what's wrong. He sighs heavily. His gaze low, shoulders slumped forward. 
The young pupil says he wanted to surprise his big brother when he returns home tomorrow with a book called The Pilgrim's Path. But it is suddenly gone from the bookshop. Before the lecturer can even ask anything, the pupil shoots up out of his chair and says he must go home at once, for he cannot be outside when his curfew comes. And just like that, he is gone. The lecturer watches the pupil leave. He didn't even get to ask anything. My friends, we have another small dilemma on our hands. The lecturer simply cannot let his students bear such heavy burdens. He wants to try to locate the pilgrim's path himself. He knows Trista has a bookshop and a library at the academy, or perhaps there is somewhere else to visit. I will ask one of you for a location that we should go to. Let me see. Ah, Encephalon. Where should we go today? Oh. To the train station? <laughs> Why would we... I get it now. Oh, I, I suppose that's our idea. My friends, we're going to the train station. Please, follow me. Hot, hot. I get the... Uh, I didn't get until this now. one. Uh, so these tools. Uh, uh, you will not find and, your... Um. So I uh, normally. It's just like, it's just one of those things. I don't know, I just really think it's neat. It's been a lot of fun. That's why I've definitely, I don't know, that's why I've been really interested in trying to come to more of these when I can. Now yeah. that things have finally <laughs> settled for me. Oh, yeah. Trouble, what are you doing? Logically, like, from the beginning of your travel for Abel's name. <laughs> see? Oh, yeah, you didn't know. So that if I'm doing things, I can actually see what I'm doing. And to really uh, make it obvious, I turn off other people. Although the character described is obvious. I was just curious uh, how well this so computer can handle tuned. things. I have not dropped a frame. It's in our good. good. Really good, actually. <laughs> And you don't even have your, um, graphics card that you plan on getting. Welcome to Camp nope. Navarre! <laughs> oh, lovely. The lecturer not looks about the open yeah. interior of the train station. Well, same thing. Momentarily oh, overwhelmed by the vastness of the space. I think he cut out. Trajan. Uh, 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 oh, where did I call? We lost Trajan. Overwhelmed, Overwhelmed by the space. By the space. Overwhelmed by the vastness of the space and the echoing noises, he wipes his nose to clean it of the smoky odor and makes his way to the station employee at the counter, the same young woman who first greeted him three days ago. The lecturer says he has a rather unconventional question for her. And he, for some reason, inquires about the man who lives behind the general store. She politely explains that she cannot reveal the travel information of customers, and so asks if there's anything else she can help him with. 
the lecturer says, actually, yes, and asks if any books have been left in the train station lately. She thinks for a moment, and tells him that somebody left a book here earlier today. She goes to the lost property box and asks him for its title. My friends, what is the title of the book? The Pilgrim's Path. The Pilgrim's Path. The Pilgrim's Path. The Pilgrim's Path. Why are you like this, indeed? <laughs> <laughs> she hands over to him the pilgrim's path, assuming he owns the book. Why wouldn't he? And tells him to enjoy the rest of his night. The lecturer thanks her very much for her time. As he turns to leave, he spots someone familiar. Over in the corner on the bench, sitting on his own, is the young pupil from today's class. What is he doing here, the lecturer wonders? What about the curfew? Perhaps he is hopeful that his brother will return early? Perhaps he is wondering how to tell his brother about the present he was not able to obtain for him. The lecturer holds the book in both hands and approaches the pupil, who looks up at him. The lecturer offers it, wordlessly. The pupil stares in disbelief. He asks if it's for him. The lecturer simply nods. The pupil takes it and looks at it, touches it carefully. He's fighting back tears. Thank you, says the pupil. Thank you so much. He jumps to his feet reinvigorated and says he's going to go somewhere quiet now tonight to read it so that he and his brother can talk about it later in depth and he runs out of the train station the lecturer feels very accomplished indeed and now it would seem that one small night has fallen you know what that means. It is the perfect time to get the final item needed for his research. He needs an ether crystal. He had one when he lectured here before, but they confiscated it. The engineering building is probably trying to make use of it. My friends, the engineering building is right this way. Outstanding. Okay, has anyone else noticed that it, it switched off of night to evening? Nope. It's, uh, it's just a you problem, man. Night right now. It was nighttime for me, and then suddenly now it's not. Oh, okay, there it goes. We're all here for the fancy room. Switch it back to night in your menu. Oh, I can do that too? Okay. Man, yeah, I could do the same thing I did last time. It used to be before I'm riding before the bike. The reruns, mm -hmm. That we would all have to manually. Change the time, but Nick had a feature <laughs> that lets the tour guy do it globally. Nice. And it would be like, please change the time <laughs> to evening. <laughs> I'm so 
well, well hidden. Now Sarge can never see me slacking off. My hey, friend. Sarge, I found him over here. The story on you. Sarge continues. can always find out. The engineering <laughs> building is quiet. The lecturer stops. He remembers something. He remembers why he waited three days. Yes. Here comes the moment he has been waiting for. He checks the time and watches the horizon and right on cue a round red object rises up into the night sky. My friends, behold the blood moon above the back of the academy. Yes. Well, now damned. everything can go ahead. Now is the time to act. He must get that ether crystal. Ah, oh, but look here at this sturdy padlock. If only he had a hammer and chisel with which he could break it open. No, wait. He does. One hit, two hits, and the padlock falls to the ground. Everyone, <laughs> let's go inside. Cotton candy. So nice of them to leave out refreshments. <laughs> I'll need to open the table and drink them. Oh, yeah. Man, the engineering. Right where he thought it would be. A blue ether crystal. The lecturer checks the room and sneers as he snatches his crystal back. He's sure they don't even know how to use the thing. Well, now it's back in his hands, and he can finally finish his research. My friends, let's step outside. Who's gonna catch us this time? Uh. Didn't we get up there last time? There we go. Whoops. On leaving the engineering building. There stands the delinquent. He's stomping out a cigarette and asks what the lecturer was doing in the engineering shed. Ah, oh, well, after all the lecturer has done for him, he feels comfortable sharing, so he says he's about to try and finish his special research project. And just as he hoped, the delinquent asks if he can help. The lecturer smiles from ear to ear and happily accepts the assistance. The lecturer explains that he needs the keys to the old schoolhouse, which are normally kept near the groundskeeper's shed on the academy field. The delinquent, of course, knows just what he's talking about. And so the pair head across the grounds. This way. Sneaky, huh, sneaky, 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 Ready to stand off. A finger stand off. Proceed on the double that... hanger. That doesn't sound right. Stop. That just did not sound right whatsoever. Whisper, yelling, getting to the hanger. <laughs> <laughs> you will stand guard. Power armor is very great for stealth. Stealth is optional in this mission. I rolled. I rolled a three on stealth. It's always optional. 
on trade gems. Yeah, that would be good. Pokemon battle here. Bitch. Maybe. Oh, yeah, really <laughs> well, go on, Tricky. <laughs> I rolled the seven. Right. As the lecturer and the delinquent come to the groundskeeper's shed, somebody exits the building. It's the groundskeeper's daughter, the student from earlier. She is surprised to see them both, carrying a heavy box outside. Mm. The delinquent offers to help her, and she explains that she spoke with her parents and is helping them out more, and in return they are supporting her. The lecturer is very happy to hear this, and then she asks what they are both doing out here in the dark. The lecturer explains, bluntly, that he needs the keys to the old schoolhouse so he can get back to his old research project. She gives him a curious look, but at this point trusts him, and hands him the keys from inside the shed, but only if she accompanies them. She needs to keep an eye on where the keys are going. The lecturer thinks this is more than reasonable and is happy to accept her company. And so, the three of them head to the old schoolhouse. Ooh, spooky. Spooky. <laughs> Yo, no. I'm spooked. Damien, actually, Yo, my character will. actually has a sheet. Uh, Are we doing uh, dice rolls? I'll roll. That's not very nice, though, oh, man. To the, the Yo, that I think you did. Oh, yeah, I, did. I don't feel comfortable right now. Yeah, I tried to get down to the place, like, several times. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a button. No We're on the third day. Oh, Are you getting stuck in geometry? Day. You know what, let me roll. No. <laughs> I have not seen any of the special endings. I watched the neutral ending a billion times and finally get to see a different ending. It looks like a very nice place. Uh, wh wh what are you guys? This place where we get down. <laughs> what are Damn, you guys talking about? Captain I never watched too. a horror movie. Yeah, no, someone's You're definitely gonna that. get spooked today. Also, I rolled a 17 <laughs> for whatever that's worth. That's good, right? Uh, right. which you know, check? Charisma or dexterity? No. Yes. <laughs> also, what RPG system are we rolling with? Because that can determine uh, uh, whether a high number is good or bad. Said... I don't know what I'm using. Um, let's say... Let's go with 5e. If we go Call of Cthulhu, yeah, then yeah, on a roll of a 1 is like perfect oh, success. Sky. Good. What, what is the worst outcome for me? Death. Awesome. The old schoolhouse stands like a slate fortress in an overgrown forest. Its dark, solemn walls complement the gloom of night, and the fragments of windows reflect glimmering stars. The night sky turns slowly overhead, filled with wonder and brilliance. The lecturer approaches tentatively. Dark birds take off from an alcove. His heart races. He's finally back here. He can finally finish what he started all those years ago. He... Wait. Who's that? Over there. Sitting under a tree. Oh. Could it be? Yes. Why, it's the pupil, reading a book by torchlight. The pupil looks up at the same time, closes his book and comes over to them. He asks what they're all doing here. The truth says he's going to finish his own research project from 30 years ago and would be happy to have some company. The pupil looks at the delinquent, then at the student, and then at the lecturer, and he agrees to join them. The lecturer walks up the steps to the door, slowly inserts the key, turns it until it clicks, and slowly pushes the door open until it doesn't open anymore. 
It's only open a little bit. It's jammed, stuck. He tries to reach in to feel the other side. But the pupil speaks up. He can fit through the gap, he offers. And before anyone can disagree, he squeezes through. A few moments later, he clears the way from the other side, and the old wooden doors slowly swing inward. This way, friends. Is this a bad time to point out that the clock face looks like a scythe? No. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. Never a bad time. Oh, clock face info. Clock face information is very important. Make sure your world news gets turned up. I have not seen There is a spoopy oh. area. But not quite. What are you cautioning? Damn, that I don't know. There's, always, there's, there's plenty of reason box. for caution. <laughs> the, <laughs> because of the fact that we have a World of Warcraft boss here? Well, it's more of like the schoolhouse, but I guess a schoolhouse... Oh, so you can have music on, you won't get DMCA because Falcom lets people use their songs. He's got an electric personality. Yeah. The first time I've seen this. Apparently, Beerman. I, I think he needs a throat lozenge for this. Yeah. And he's got solid snake dancing on him. So the neutral one. <laughs> We're done. That sounds. My friends. That sounds. Yeah, my, yeah. my friends. The interior is far gloomier than the outside. The air in here, stale and dusty. Nobody has been here for quite some time. The lecturer closes the door behind them, and the sounds of the night slowly fade to nothing. Only the sullen silence of the spacious interior greets them. Well, says the lecturer, let's get moving. Right this way. Oops. Why do? Why does this give boss door vibes? Do not go what down the this? elevator. Elevator, go down the hall. Oh, okay. Ah, the floor is so Oh, what is this one do? Yeah, don't go down yet. I feel like we're all going near a boss. Four of them stand in awe of the peculiar chamber. Is this a part they of proceed it? carefully, their footfalls slowly shuffling across the dusty floor. Every little noise echoed and thrown back at them. The lecturer steps onto the elevator platform in the middle and approaches the control on the far side. He uses the ether crystal to activate the elevator and explains that there was a poison leak on the seventh floor and that he has prepared antidotal medicine so that none of them would be affected. <laughs> the delinquent, the student, the pupil, and the lecturer all take some of the medicine. <laughs> but the lecturer only pretends. One by one, the delinquent, the student, and the pupil fall unconscious. The elevator begins to move. So are we going to have a triple sacrifice tonight? On the seventh floor. Depth, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Seventh floor. Oh, pollution behind the portal. So, yeah, just be warned. You will fall out. Oh, could fall out. I should say. You station. This isn't the spoopy level that I remember Whoa. seeing. I have a bad. Hi guys. I took the sh I took the quicker way down. Caution. Look, okay, how do you I do fell. that? But there's no ceiling. There's no hole in the ceiling. God. 
I Let's have see. no idea I'm either. Oh man. Wibbly wobbly tiny. Let me, let me ready a healing yes. potion. <laughs> yes. I there's a healing thing. station. So, there's there. a heal station right over there. Just bring him to the heal station. Yeah, drag. Yeah, yeah dra drag me over. Ow! 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 I ow! Ow! Be softer with the dragging, please. Ow! Ow! Oh, ow! It's, it's fine. You heal up. Don't worry about it. My wow, my body is mended, yeah. but my heart is still broken. Hey, pay hey, attention. My friend, hey, attention. Okay. May I ask that you delay tonight's shenanigans? We are getting close to the peak. My interest is peak. Everything is in order. The portal has opened as expected, and the deep chamber buzzes with mysterious energy. The hairs on the back of his neck stand on end. But the portal is not quite ready yet. No, there are other steps that must be taken first. And so, one by one, he begins to drag the three unconscious youths to the next room. <laughs> Here we go. Uh -oh. Uh oh. What are we going to see? Oh, my gosh. Oh, shit. Oh. The bronze mech. The bronze mech. The bronze mech. This is not good. So was it here oh. first? Well, oh, that's not that's right. Did the wire have to go in the garage? I saw this coming. Mech. Crap. <laughs> well, this ain't good. I concur. So you telling me that thing charges through its crotch? <laughs> <laughs> Do not question the dick charger. Very astute of you. See that? <laughs> the dick charger. There's also an arm charger. <laughs> it is. Don't you? At the far end of the room, kneeling like a bronze statue, is a mech. A relic of a distant civilization. A monument to technologies he cannot begin to fathom. With the three unconscious youths beside him, the lecturer stares up at the machine. Everything is in place. He waits. And he waits. And he waits. And under his breath, he begs, pleads for something to happen. He did all this work. He waited all this time. He didn't tell a single soul. And he couldn't bear if... Wait. There. Yes, a glimmer in the eyes. A flash of blue. The same blue of the portal. Is it working? Is it time? As he stares into the glowing blue eyes, the lecturer sees flashes of his past. <laughs> he can see the first time he was allowed to explore the old schoolhouse built on top of the sunken archaeological site he can see him and his assistant figuring out the elevator and he can see the the portal opening unexpectedly and he can see oh he can see it hear it its sudden voice, its eerie, soothing voice. It offered them both knowledge. It promised ancient technology, the secrets of the universe, the functions of reality. It only asked one thing in return. A pilot. The lecturer drops to his knees in disbelief. Thirty years, he is finally back here. 
As the eyes gently glow, the lecturer speaks. I have returned, as promised. And in response, a voice fills the room. returned. I have. I have returned, and I hope you remember the deal we had. My memory is not distorted by time. I have waited long for this moment for you to be here. It it was not easy, but I managed to find three replacements. The lecturer gestures to the delinquent, the student, and the pupil lying on the ground beside him. So, you wish to replace your assistant, your own son, with another, so be it. I am listening. The lecturer stares at the bronze machine, his son, his child, right there beneath layers of cold steel. He tries to picture him. What does he look like after all these years? Is he conscious? Has he aged? Can you hear him? Does he still have hope like he does? A shiver runs through the old man's body, and he takes a deep breath. He thinks long and hard about the decision. He looks at the three students lying there. He lied to them. He manipulated them into coming down here with him, knowing their fate. Is he... Is he really willing to sacrifice them for his own son? He knows what he must do. No. Take me. Take me instead. for yourself in exchange for your son? So be it. The lecturer feels a pull in the back of his mind, a tug at his body, a calling to move. His legs carry him slowly to the bronze machine. His heart slams against his ribs. The chest of the bronze mech clicks loudly and hisses as a seal is broken, and the hatch slowly rises, revealing a desiccated corpse sitting in the pilot seat. The lecturer cries out, but his legs are no longer his own. He is being moved against his own will as tendrils of shadow wrap around his legs. Your son is dead. He did not last long. He was not a worthy vessel which means that it was you I sensed on that day. Your son's blood is not your own. What do you mean? My, my son? We adopted him, yes, but my blood? Why do you want my blood? It's too late, old man. You possess what is rightfully mine. 
and I shall take it back by force. The room shudders, shadows grow in the corners, and the structure above them groans. The lecturer can no longer feel his own body. He can't feel anything as he steps onto the bronze machine's platform. Only two thoughts run through his mind. That he did all this for his son who had died so long ago. And that he has made a mistake. A terrible mistake. Something is awakening within him, and the bronze machine is about to consume him. And that something that awakens, changes, adjusts, manipulates ever so slightly the probability state of this reality. And he wakes up. No, not the lecturer. The delinquent wakes up. Skeptical by nature, he only had a little bit of the medicine. He sits up and looks around. Where is he? What is this place? What is that awful noise? He can see two other students beside him. He shakes them awake. And together they see the lecturer, his head wreathed in strange shadows, slowly moving towards some sort of bronze machine. And he remembers. Yes, he remembers. The student suggests that this is the archaeological site, the ancient ruin deep within that was once Trista's quarry. The pupil looks up and around, surveying the area. This is bad, he says. We must do something. My friends, please listen carefully. In this room is a bronze mech. The chest hatch is open. One set of cables leading to it from an unknown device. The four braziers have lit up with electric energy, seemingly charging attacks. Mm. The lecturer has shadows around his legs and head, pulling him toward the bronze mech. He is only four steps away. I need you to separate into three groups. Those who speak on behalf Ooh. of the delinquent stand here. Those who control the student stand here. And those who represent the pupil stand here. Oh. Pupil, student, or... Right. Mm. Following you. I'm following you. You are now a group working together. Remember the clues. Uh, Make you guys are all sticking scenes. together. You, you could, could end this feet. with a few well-coordinated right. assaults. So yes, we're right in front. Oh dear. Hello, man. Of course, I'm on the same oh, team as my friend. <laughs> All right. Wait, who's who's your frenemy? Tell the alarm and execute these men. Well, everybody can go home now. <laughs> Complicated. That's too big. I don't know. Fair enough. Seems like real life. Yeah. Trying to teach me to grow up magic. Try and grow up at least for this one moment. Agreeing to the rat. Fine. 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 How many times have I told you I'm Shiny. a pirate, not a robot? Shiny. 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 Oh, so I think I just realized who he saw, he he saw right. every time in the neutral ending wrong. at the train. The bad he thought he saw the like I don't know yeah. what you yeah. pupils do. Blurred. Observe. I was yeah. taking information. Me? I'm trying to think of how this fight works. Travelers, your attention, please. Travelers, your attention, please. Travelers, apologies. Listen carefully. 10,000 apologies to you. It seems our dearest tour guide Trajim has crashed, but he is on his way back. 
please stay in the groups that you have chosen and do not wander away from the groups that you have chosen. We beg your forgiveness as we organize as Trajan returns. VRC will be VRC. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Must have been his internet. Yeah. Yeah, we don't blame him. Oh, well, I'll wait for this time. How to handle this fight? What did the. Well, we have. Uh, 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 no kid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have stuff in the right hand. Same time. What? Verbal. Mean, uh, we, we don't really have weapons or anything to fight back we, with. Do. There's the blazers. Yeah. Well, we've got some stuff, but I think I don't know. They're talking about. So in terms of what we have, doesn't Trajan have to tell us the items we have? There's cables at the foot of the, of the brass beast. We have these braziers that are charging with electrical energy. We have never a lecturer done. standing in front of us getting. This is a fight I've never done. I'm completely cool with at the moment. And a corpse of his adopted son. Really cool. Really cool. Really cool. We find out you're adopted, but. That's neither it was there. a couple items, but I forgot what they were. I think we got like, like fishing pole or we were. There's like, I feel like there's a shovel at some point. Was there a shovel? Can I imagine? What the fuck did we get a shovel? I feel like there's a lighter or something. Which I believe we can All the items are equipped. Yeah, the yeah, items are equipped. Like, so, like, the gloves and stuff. Right, so, yeah. so, should we go over and talk to other people? Uh, yeah, someone had a lighter. No, no, right now we gotta wait where we are. And we'll be yeah, I do think uh, right, right, right. I don't think we have a lighter. Yeah. We, I, we never got, we were never told we had a lighter. Gotcha. Yes. Oh, no. uh, Trajan will come and tell us what we got. This thing's denser than yeah. that, man. Good luck with that. Yeah. I think anyone can leave that. Yeah. I thought we were going, you know, when one person is, remembers is having issues with that all night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know what well, uh, When they mentioned there was like a terrible <laughs> gas, I assume we're going into the park dungeon. I fly the my helmet on. Right to you. <laughs> the terrible gas <laughs> is still alive by the lecturer. It's not gas, then it's gonna be higher, I mean, so. I mean, yeah, but they're, they're no quite shiny, yeah. yeah. We're not, well, not planned, blinding. So we, probably, well, we don't do that out of like respect. Okay, good. Mm. I like your ID card. I don't know if they are a bit unusually shiny. I have all the particles disabled, so I wouldn't be able to do any fire anyway. I mean, I'm just gonna use this thing. Yeah, and my gun doesn't fire. You know, it, it fires an RP, but it doesn't fire, you know, bullets. Way to God, man. Yeah. It's not my fault. It fires <laughs> LARP rounds. It's just like we're... It's just like, it's just like if I had the particles turned on, I could do flame doors and kind of is that? electricity yeah, and you know, all that other stuff. But then it's all turned off in order to save things. Uh, uh, I fire ether out of my buster, but I've been, uh, but I've been robbed of my, uh, ether privileges because of it corrupting me. That's not nice. It wasn't me, I didn't do it. I just that it. explains Quick, too much. Yeah, like, you <laughs> failed <laughs> miserably. Thank God. Hey, hey blame equalization. He's the one who headbutted me. Something is your fault you specifically. You headbutted him! You grabbed him by the horns and drove your skull into him! We have discovered the He's talking. He's talking. He's talking. He's talking. is a definite thanks to you. Yeah. What the... what? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you talking to me? <laughs> I said that if you are told that it is your fault that a bad ending has become absolute, good ending. Oh. then yeah, you should fault. rejoice yeah. because now we know the absolute actions necessary for this ending. You have given us exactly. all knowledge and all of us should thank you. So, yeah, right. I am curious what's inside the bronze bed. Bed. I'm gonna go check. I mean, nothing. Well, there was a dead guy for uh, one. I mean, nothing anymore. Used to be a dead guy. What the fuck are we using dead guy for? Now then, our sins are mystical machine called a modem that is restarting in the rendezvous. And as soon as this mystical machine called a modem restarts, Trajan will return to the narrative. To the narrative. Yeah, so you can say he's the reboot gem now? I don't want to reboot. Gosh dang it, Elle. <laughs>
Oh, like I'm, uh, I still don't know how I arrived here. What are you doing? No, I still don't even know how I arrived here. What? I mean, you're familiar. I remember running into you with that one bar. Oh, oh, the bad one. Yeah, you so you made me puns as much as me falling and breaking yeah, my legs. Well, that one wasn't even that ponderful. There was a yeah, the flying particles. Oh, weird. There was a nice robot. He gave me a name. Thank you. Yeah, but I'm his moron. I'm under his jurisdiction. Uh, core. Oh yeah, but like when I went inside of it, that's your robot guy right here. A little down. Trying to meditate. I'm in there. I'm in there. I'm in there. I'm in there. So far, he's kept me safe. Despite the fact that he's incredibly threatening, scary. I mean, so is that guy. But he's 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 like the the cuddly kind of. The weird old thing in your face. Oh dear. We're all gonna die, guys. You know, I never actually buy you dinner, right? Okay, let's remember all the good times in the campfire. Then you don't get to look at my neck orb. How about that time when Captain Penner was about to come over to and have a great, great, like, lecture and intermission about what events happen in front of everybody, but you you chicken out. Yo, there's a. Ow, ow. Tool in this finger here. How? I will not kiss you. Because <laughs> I'm when <laughs> okay. Was... okay, let me let me let me explain this real quick. Trajan said, Oh, in Cephalon, what should we do? And then that thing happened. That was that Oh, it's interpretive it's dance. Point. It's a dance this of fear. On the good ending, you win this fight. In the bad ending, you lose I, the fight. Maybe the so real power armor is... Is there any power? Is there any power? Why do I have a feeling you need to go and get some sleep? You've been yelling all day. I'm honestly surprised. It's just surprised his voice has been. That just proves my point. Jesus, just kill me. When I say jump, you jump! When I say fight, you fight! When I tell you to die for your country, then you will certainly die! Yes. Would be the first time I died. Yes, Sergeant. Trust me, he gets mad if you say anything. Me, gross. Oh, gross. I mean, we're dead. I think I just released some fear down below. I didn't need to know that. Oh yeah, no, we uh, we probably don't. I'm pretty sure he's just here to record all the heresy, and then uh, we're probably gonna get exterminated. Accept me a moron. Oh, most definitely. Would you say? I thought you said it's just poor. No, you don't have multiple. Yes, sergeant. No, bored. Oh, no, wait, wait, I did. We, we can just, we can just throw Sarge at this. Listen, right? I don't think he could do it. I, I, I was being on time. Like, we, we throw him in there, and then right, we just run. Right, there was a minute early. Don't even give me that shit. Don't tell him. Shuffling jackass. How the hell do they expect me to run this unit if they keep shortchanging me on supplies? How's this going? Alright, right, 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 since we're all here, we're gonna be fine. Internet restored. On his way back. Oh, there we Just go. Just a moment, travelers. Brace oh. yourselves. Excellent. Yay! Anybody got a campfire? Wow. Really, they wanna, He's they wanna coming back. 
Fun VR Travelers Trivia. Did you know that there is a bucket in every world of every tour in VR Travelers? Huh. Really? Exceptional. You know, you're just tempting me to look for them. Hmm. I <laughs> never know. Yeah. But then again, I've only seen four tours, so. I don't know. I haven't seen any of these four tours. It contains a bucket. Wait, even in the scavenger chest? Are you asking how many buckets or what's in the bucket? What's, what's the bucket for? Doesn't matter. There's a bucket. Number what if everything Did is a bucket? What? That in VR Travelers, the tour, the appraiser. Cornbread is never mentioned. <laughs> yes, which is a shame, isn't it? <laughs> that tour may need a rewrite. I knew, think we need to include cornbread in the mix. Into reality. <laughs> but I guess the appraiser's dreams are not your dreams. <laughs> Fun fact, cornbread does not exist in any of the VR channels. No, what gets that? Well, the answer is in the kitchen. Your statement. What? What? Damn it. It is a music video where I stand on top of a slice of cornbread the size of a skyscraper and I sing the song I believe I can fly. I'm a... Oh, I thought it was pretty, pretty, pretty little woman. Pretty girl. What? It's about that I can actually kind of picture him doing that. Now somebody has to find that. Dreams big. If we can't find that world, we need him. We need someone to commission it or make it. We need to bring it to reality. I like more trivia. Ooh, more, more trivia. I bet nobody oh, knows more trivia. trivia. I don't know if you're power for. VR Travelers <laughs> Trivia Number Three. Did you know that in The Painter One, Sheen, the tour guide, tells many lies. Finally, that guy was such a fool. Oh, I knew that. I, knew it. Such a I immediately oh. feel betrayed. Hmm. Oh. 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 I've never seen a thing like that. I can't remember. Something about cactuses. <laughs> oh. It's cacti. Don't you mean cacti? <laughs> I don't remember much about that before, actually. It's been a while. Techner, explain. What? Cactuses. Cacti. Yeah, one cacti. Cactus is a cactus, but multiple cactus is cacti. Oh. This is scary. I'm gonna see the same twice. No, twice. Dude, right, that's good ending. Five passes. A thousand looks. Still got a bit before he gets there. Sorry, cactus. Yeah, cactus. Cactus. He is online, apparently. Cactus. A thousand needles never existed. This is a very precarious position. Well, that's the case. What's the same like? Sarge, here's your power for you. Mm. <laughs> this is a good question. Technically, one Final Fantasy song has been used in a tour so far. Uh, Dude, you know, I've been going through the playlist of this world and I've just been putting on like some mad combat music while you guys are just talking. Compression of time. <laughs> a modified yeah, version of time. Slow down right. and loop of just one portion Final of Fantasy it. Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah. That, is that the mm -hmm. only one? Yep. I'm ready for battle. I think that would be it. That's what that is about. the only one so far. I can do the voice, I would. Uh -huh. I, I bet, I bet <laughs> Trey's the only one. So what are we going to see one winged angel? <laughs> That's, that would be so disconnected. Like, it'd be so, so like, <laughs> holy shit, one winged angel is fine. It's too popular. You couldn't do that. Blatant. <laughs> Pants party. That'd be like hiring Bill Murray to voice Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Murray to voice Tom Hanks? In what? Mm, interesting. Be <laughs> like um, hiring. You know what? Forget that. A story about two guys who are dumb and dumber. The painter, Dumb and Dumber edition. No, it would be Dumbest Er. Yes. Dumbest Er. Dumbest Er. Dumbest Er. No, Dumbest Er sounds stupid. We do have the two guards. Dumbest Er. Don't be a Dumbest Painter guards. Dumbest Er. Dumbest Er. Dumbest Er. 
remember is I woke up in some oh, ether covered oh. room. Ooh, you gotta dump it. Yeah, I'll be a chair. Sometimes. You know, you gotta get a VR Traveler's trivia number become the dumbest. Did you know that there is X number of rooms still undiscovered in the rendezvous that Gene has been firmly reprimanded on telling the travelers about? Yeah, I mean, I think the travelers have a collection of stuff. No leads, no anything on how to how to find them, but they remain. Queen who yeah. Yeah. Something funny. Yeah. Yeah. Dungeon. Yeah. 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 Why wouldn't I have a Canada room? Are you a fucking idiot? What, what's wrong with you? Why would I know about a How would I possibly be able to guess if there was a Canada room? Dude, I, I just don't know what goes through your head sometimes. I don't know what goes through your head. Your suspect is to bribe Rendizo. What's your name, Private? Vanilla extract or Doritos. Yeah, because they oh, yeah. Vanilla extract Both valid trade options. Soldier! That's the flavor we need. Who rents Doritos and Vanilla extract? Taco. Yes. Well, wow. it seems... Soldier! That you would be here, but something must have happened. Travel yes. Us, allow me What's your name, check. Private? I'll be right back. Private. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I wish you what was that? Did yeah. you forget something, yeah. Megan? Just to ah. fuck with the tour guys. You can't just change into a weird ass. Oh, lovely. Let's just start crashing people for the fun of it. No. Um, he does use desktop, but he also has VR. Ah. Exactly. I have a piece of shit on my phone, so I should go see if he has any crashes. Right, uh, just fucking ruin everything for uh, People and, uh, I don't know, who, who, who else is that a dude? Okay, you don't have... Ooh, that sounds good. I can figure out how to get the helmet. Uh, is it pickle? It's pickle. It's pickle. It's pickle. Pickle and the steeple. He turned himself into a pickle! I don't think that's the third person. Even even with all the shit we are giving you, have you had fun this morning? That's the main thing. Oh yeah, I always have fun when I go on these things. I'm a pickle right now, so I think I'm doing alright. Alright, I've received no response. I'm going to walk around the room and make an announcement. Please stay where you are, so that everyone can hear. Everyone panic. Are you walking around the room? Or I'm going to start here. Travelers, your attention please. Travelers, your attention please. 10,000 apologies for interrupting. Listen carefully. This has never happened before, and thus we sincerely apologize. We exist as an entity to prepare greatly to perform for you and give you a night to remember to be a bright spot in this world. And travelers, my friends, most of all, to provide a space that all of you can hang with your friends and talk and chat through a story. <laughs> Unfortunately, this story is cut short tonight, as it appears Trajim is having connection pro problems. Again, this has never happened before, and we apologize. I'm going to give Trajim, starting now, another ten minutes. If he does not return, I will open a portal to the rendezvous. And we will then wait for him there. 
the tour will likely not recontinue if he returns to the rendezvous and much time has passed. But don't worry, you can still connect and hang with your friends there in the rendezvous. I will be there at the bar. Rendizo has retired for the night, so yours truly, Sheen the tour guide, will be here with you. <laughs> I repeat, travelers, ten minutes from now, I will open a portal to the rendezvous. And again, right. I am very sorry. No worries, man. Okay. Things happen. VRT's first cliffhanger, oh, baby! This is what you get when you the Donald's internet. I suck sometimes. Uh, bad internet problems. Yeah. So. Yeah. Things yeah, happen. It, I completely understand. Yeah. Your story, huh? I'm surprised we've gone this is, long uh, without this kind of thing happening. I'm a pickle, not yeah. damn, I'm Rick. Uh, play is kind of anything else, but... Oh, hey, what a shame. Uh, simply to the flow and oh. kind of find a bit of... Delicious! Uh, 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 sorry to hear that he's having an internet issue. I guess for every choice ow. I think oh, no. I do, I guess I can say. How about one of my friends? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, you haven't stopped shooting me. No, thank you. I didn't do anything yet. Since Zero joined, you all been cursed. Yes! <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Truly the worst ending. Wait, wait, hey, get back here. I want to ride the dragon. <laughs> Look, I'm already hot. Fire doesn't even work on me. I'm sorry for ruining the day. Riding the dragon. Oh, bow before me. I, I have tamed this chainsaw. You see, I oh used to be a mayor, but then it got kidnapped. Hmm. Mm. I see. I said how. Uh, but I this beast. Mm. Hello, I guess we'll have a fun. Well, okay, so you. it's okay. Look, I was tinkle. democratically elected mayor of the place that I was in charge of. I mean, yeah, by I guess that, the one else was running, I guess. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's funny you mentioned that. Everyone else did uh, seem to like drop science. pow, so uh, I was the only one remaining. So I guess I got it. <laughs> Mm. Hey, victory oh, by the way, thing's too bad. Yeah. Well, we're for, I guess. Yeah, I'm waiting for Tatum. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, uh, caught up at all in some of my journal entries. I just popped out of Steam and I got one. I don't got one. I apologize. I have my box. It's okay. Then, uh, Space Scientist decided to take me. The painter, too. You are a busy cube. We don't really talk about too much after that. Yes, he is. That is true. My full attention right now. Hey, can I hear it's a bit forgetful? So we don't remember. I mean, it's the painter three is not done yet. Well, for the most part, I thought we were going to have a turn. The painter three is not done. But what might be a surprise to you is that there have been several songs that have already been reserved for the painter three. Wait, you you doing a sequel to the painter? For like a year and a half at least. God damn. It's been literally yeah, it's 40 so years. I feel like if I run that thing, it's <laughs> 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 It's been 1,000 years. <laughs> 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 I think it was like, more like a really, really cat. More like uh, string. I don't have a string instrument on hand that I can use for You know, it's the time of the year where all the crowds are using strings. Yeah, I just thought, you know, Covered in I'm just going to be showing hundreds of that. layers of dust. I, I know That's what it would sound like. There's going to be some dust yeah, ropes yeah. at that point. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't strings no more. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hey, machine, why are you dusty? Uh, I'm using nano machines. I ask myself that every time I look in the mirror. No. Why are you dusty, yeah. cube man? Why are <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I just, just imagine yeah, Trajeman like, Renzo every day trying to, to, try to help Sheen to wash the dust yeah, off his mouth. I have well, packed up this but unfortunately, they don't make it for Tesseract. Come on, look, I'm so contained. I've got like, you know, I've got like a shell. 
vapor. I'm wearing gloves. Can I get you out? I'll shake you. Uh, I, I wish yeah, I could talk about the same. Why don't you try to cut the civilization in pieces? Be able to talk about it. I don't know why. Little threats with me, metal boy. I know. I can relate. You're losing a lot of blood there. He was cutting you. The painter too changes things. Joke's on him. I'm in a pocket reality where I can't even see or feel his weapons. AKA I have some sorry. That sounds like. And yet you're dropping a lot of blood back. Sure you're feeling okay? Or do you know? I don't have any blood. Both of you two so much defeated. Now I'm even more concerned, which is odd because why am I concerned for evil? I hate to sound edgy, it's the friend part of the but friend imagine part. something much yeah, worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. point. Maybe uh, I should upgrade to enemy guys. Oh, it's yeah, oh, that's actually real easy. Yeah. All I have to do is. Yeah, it's like an, uh, what's it called, an anglerfish. Like you uh, trails got your little bolt and enemy capture. Big, big bass is in here. Yeah. yeah, that's not uh, the other hand. That one was a little hard to hard 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 hard. How did I fall for that one? Really Compared to like Cold Steel, which is right. modern. Yeah, right. You see his hand? I see it. The system, the there actually was a hand at that. As opposed to the rules of Mickey, which changes literally nothing. Except yes, Mickey did. Uh, uh, yeah. That's not a spell of one. I'm not. I mean, it's the one that's killing me. He's going to kill me. I don't know what he's going to do, but... <laughs> you guys don't have the same insight like, like, of the future, I guess, is doing it. The pupil? Uh, the executioner? Uh, I'll go. I'm sorry, saying? wait, the little liquid? And I mean, we always knew from the beginning that it was bad. Uh, the pickle fish. Unless it's an ice cream, that would be interesting. The pupil and bat were not actually there to experience. The liquid and pupil with the red one, I forgot. Oh, the girl. Oh, the... Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. The, I don't. <laughs> the pregnant one? I heard that. Her person was pregnant. <laughs> her mom. Oh, her mom said, I thought she was pregnant. Way to go, you I got it. I called it out. Yep. <laughs> well, I called out. I'm saying it's not out of it. I want to fight you. See, I bet everyone is going to be pregnant. I just. I just want to. I just want to. I want to do harm to this community. Let's just hurt people. I'm gonna tear everyone's friendships apart for fun. I'm going to try one last time to DM Trajem. If he fails to respond, I'll open the portal. Just a moment. 
Oh, you can make it go to the solution automatically? Look, I eat Holy uh, shit. It's warm. I keep all my <laughs> I keep all the radiation all the inside oh, me. It's oh, actually, it's not on the solution. You can fix one. Am I? Yeah, I'll yeah. create a fix one, one thing. It's I, not. I, like uh, I, I, I do this. Oh, yeah, it might be the same. I admit, natural sunlight works best for folks. He's tired. I don't want to do this. 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 I like the sunlight. You should be able to do this. I'm sure you understand that. I've been told several times. Yeah. Hey, maybe I can, yeah, yeah, I can most definitely oh, agree. I've been Sons are not to be oh, comfortable land. Yeah, oh, if the bronze neck was true, oh, let's be done with that. Uh, no, 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 Somebody needs to be fine. Look, I just need to know. And we didn't come down here. Actually, no, I remember this one time at prom. No, no, I don't want to die. Okay, I know some worlds I will never take this chance. Don't worry, drills as brittle as his brains. What, vampire worlds? No, you're yeah. just stronger yeah, than my drill. You need to tell yourself that. Your button. drill needs to be stronger. You need to build uh, confidence in your drill. Uh, it must be the drill that pierces the heavens or some other uh, anime bull. Okay. That, 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 I, that wasn't that wasn't an invitation to try to drill my head. My head is precious and empty, full of stop, oh, yeah. stop so shooting me. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. if my drill is so brutal, how did I manage to take out some of those soldiers back in the pilot? You know, in that one part where you take on soldiers. Because they're weak little meat. Bags. Because they're pathetic grunts. That's all you can handle. And yet, such a fucking disappointment. You do realize there's also, there was also a mech there. I could the bare minimum. There's also those mechs there that this thing could easily drill through. That mech was also level one. Because he's really excited about taking my helmet off. And I think with it, whatever is above my smile, I'll take my helmet off. Nice. You need a bell. You're a danger. I do need a bell. You're right. I need a big one. I need a lot of big ones. I think you need a ton of big bells. Sound effects. <laughs> See, that works. Yeah. More bells. Travelers, thank you. My sincerest apologies for interrupting your merrymaking. I have just received word from the most handsome tour guide in existence. <laughs> Trajim says that his internet has not returned. And uh, he profusely no. apologizes to all of you. Oh, However... No. It seems his mobile connection is slightly working. But until then, all of us will return to the rendezvous. Good news is that in the rendezvous, there are lots of fun things to do, like get lost and find cornbread, vanilla extract, and order weird things from the bar. And it's also a chance to interact with your friends, which is the whole point of this story tour. So, friends, at this time, I will give you 10,000 apologies. The tour is over due to technical difficulties. And now, I will open a portal to the rendezvous. I still want to give a round of applause to our wonderful tour guides. Yeah. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah, really good. Well, we tried. Awesome. Nice. Hooray! Oh, refund. Fun, right? Thank refund. You, uh, <laughs> refund right? Get a refund for this. We right? got the. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you need a thing. The ultimate. Yes, Trey will donate to your Patreon for inconvenience.